So guys, I've run out of Tesla content. I've resorted to trying to make cookies in my Tesla. <laughs> so as you can see, we're in the perfect sterile environment. We're on the floor of our garage. We have a brand new baking pan because, you know, cleanliness is, is key. And we have two types of cookie dough we're gonna be using. We have normal chocolate chip and then also um, birthday cake. Keep in mind, we're gonna be cooking this in the Tesla. It's gonna take about five hours. So it's not gonna get that hot. It may get like 140, 150. Right now we're preheating the car. <laughs> Basically just, we have the car in the sun. You can monitor the temperature of the Tesla through the app. So right now, can you even see that? So that the car is about 100 degrees right now. I would hope once the sun comes out more and it gets hotter during the day, it's gonna hit like 140, 150. In the meantime, we're going to get everything prepared. So we asked you guys on Twitter if you would watch a video about me baking cookies in my Tesla. 24% um, of you said you would, 16% said you wouldn't, and 60% of you guys said that you would if they were 420 cookies. Now, I'm not sure what 420 means. I know I've just heard Elon Musk use it, um, but I looked it up and it has to do with weeds. Um, so we're gonna incorporate some of that into the cookies for a special ingredient. I've never put weed in my cookies before, so I don't even know where I can get it, but I think I've seen it around the neighborhood once or twice, so just, just be patient with me. This is all new to me. And I'm not gonna make all of these cookies with my special ingredient because if they turn out gross, I don't want them to be ruined. And when you're doing this yourself, make sure you wash your hands. I already washed my hands prior and you wanna have a very clean working uh, environment for this since we're baking. And this is a nonstick pan, so we don't really need to spray anything on it. So I made six chocolate chip and we're gonna do six birthday cake. I'm gonna have to fit one of the special wheat cookies in there too. Oh my God, the birthday cake batter egg scoops up so much easier. And the last cookie is gonna have the weeds in it. So um, don't tell anybody where I got it from, but I'm gonna be right back. I just know a place in the neighborhood. So we're just gonna mix the weeds inside the cookie. People aren't gonna know what hit them when they taste this. Look at that. That's some good heat. So here are my cookies with my special weed cookie right there. I can't wait to try that one. So now we're just gonna put the cookies in the car. So basically too, you wanna make sure that under safety and security, that your cabin overheat protection is turned off. Because if you have it on, according to this, it will keep the cabin temperature under 105. So that's not gonna cook the cookies. We wanna make sure it gets nice and hot in here, enough to cook these bad boys, because we would hate for these to go to waste. They look so freaking good. So now we're just going to leave them be for a few hours. It's gonna take quite a bit. Like I live in Florida, it does get hot here, but it also rains during the day, it gets cloudy. It's not like Arizona where it's like scorching hot in the triple digits all the time. Um, so we're gonna let the car sit out there for a little bit and then just see what happens. I'm really not expecting much, but I can't wait to taste that dank weed cookie. So it is 106 in the car right now. It's slowly heating up, but they actually look like they're cooking. Like they're getting a little bit more like they're getting like moist. Like look how freaking like, like the butter or something is like coming off of them. Hopefully like a cop doesn't come by and like actually look in the windshield and see like one with like grass in it. But it is super hot out. I'm actually glad the sun came out. It's gonna actually gonna start getting really hot in the Tesla pretty soon. It's been over an hour now. They actually are looking like pretty good. Like I'm so excited to try these. They're actually like forming like an edge. The only thing is the um, butter is like leaking out. I don't know if you guys can see right there, but ew, it's like all collecting right there. If I was cooking these like on a baking sheet and not a pan and all the butter just like leaked out of the cookies onto the dashboard, like into the air condition.
<laughs> I would have probably cried. But right now the car smells really good. It smells like fresh baked cookies. This is like the best air freshener life hack ever. Just a quick update, guys. You can see the interior temperature is 132 degrees Fahrenheit. It's actually going up pretty quickly now, I think, because it's going to be like midday. But it is clouding up out, so I am concerned if it rains, if it's going to go back down. But we'll see. Um, it's been in there for about almost two hours now. The pan is actually like freaking really hot. Like I can't even touch it without getting burned. But as you can see, look at all the freaking butter from the cookies. It's all just like draining out and it's messing up my weed brownie. So I think I'm going to rotate this if I can without burning myself. So I flipped it around to get the butter to drain down to this side instead. So that thing doesn't get saturated. But the pan is actually like, if you grab it, it's super hot. Like you can't, I couldn't even move it easily. It's really hot. So here's what they look like guys after I finished baking them. They were in here for about three hours. I really don't think they're gonna get much more done. And this is actually a recipe without any eggs. And I would assume the eggs would kind of like help them rise a little bit. Um, so that's why I feel like they're kind of staying a little bit flat right now. But I feel like once they cool, they'll actually be like a normal cookie that I should be able to scoop off and eat. I think they came out pretty good. I'm going to actually like try to eat one of these. We're going to eat the normal one first, obviously. It actually came out pretty good, but I think it is still kind of doughy. It's I. Right. Let's try the birthday cake one. So the birthday cake one rised way less. Look at that. It's like really thin. Not much to it. And here is... The weed brownie. There's so much weed in here. I'm not even sure what the street value of this is, but it's gotta be at least like $420. So I'm gonna eat this, but I can't show it on camera because YouTube will demonetize me if it, if, if you see me consuming drugs like this. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. You're just gonna have to believe me. It's really good. So guys, I gotta go. I'm like starting to trip. It hit me like really hard. This is the first time I've ever done weeds before. I'm like seeing, I'm like seeing things that don't even exist. Like there's a bird right there, I swear. So guys, um, I really don't know the reason of me making this video. For some reason, I just wanted to try making cookies in my car. Um, if you want to do it yourself, just make sure it's a really hot day out. Make sure your cabinet is getting to like 160, which mine really wasn't. Um, it was like chilling around like 130, 140, so it really didn't cook these very good. Also, just keep in, keep in mind, if you actually really want to do this, turn off cabinet overheat protection if you have a Tesla because it will keep your cabin at like 105 degrees, which will definitely not cook these. Hopefully you enjoyed this very random video. I had fun making it. Um, now I'm just going to enjoy my Tesla smelling like fresh baked cookies for the next few days. Have a great day, guys. See you later. Bye.